A gift from Cecilia O. Free piano lesson on Carl Czerny Opus 599. Practical exercises for the beginners. Learn piano with Cecilia O. Detailed, continuous, and systematic instructions. We will do number 66 in Cherny's book. We have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. G sharp is the last one, which is the seventh note. One half step up, that's A. So this music is written in A major, all the way through. Let's look at the A major scale. You have A with the thumb. You have to change your fingering right there after one, two, three, then one. Okay? One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and So you have C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, and octave lower, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B. look at the chord in A major. A major, this is the tonic, A, C sharp, E, because A is the first note of the scale. So, A, C sharp, E, that's a tonic. Okay, this is, okay, Usually, the chord is piled up line, 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 or space, space, space. In this case, you have space and line together, just sticking together. So, take a top line, not putting it down. One octave lower. So, it will be E, G sharp, B, D, E, G sharp, B, D is dominant of A major, okay? So, E is one, two, three, four steps down. One, two, three, four steps down from the tonic. So, that's dominant seventh. Let's go back to our subject. Okay, let's try left hand part. Time signature is 3, 4, which means 3 come to the major, 1, 2, 3, and quarter get drummed in. In this case, you have, at the base, you have dotted half note, which has a 3 count. So you have to extend out here. Don't let it go. That's A with number 4. Okay, that way you can connect to the number 5 here, E. And stretch it down to E. And same thing in. And go back to A. Jump down. When you go down from C sharp to D, you have to just glide in, okay? So you don't have to change your fingering or it doesn't skip. So you go round and slide. And you can do fourth. Do it over. Five on C sharp. And glide your pinky. And four. Next. Mm -hmm. 
you have to be very careful. Third count and first count, you don't do. Okay? Don't hold it too long. It's just this second and third count should be very exact sound. Re, ra, ba, ba, ba. right hand. C sharp with third finger. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three one and two and three and one. Okay, look at this one and this one is the same key. One is with the uh, octave higher sign, one without. So that, this is, looks like lower than that, but it is the same note. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two. Second page, right hand. P with the pinky. Okay, when you see all this repeated note, you don't have to worry about it. You just keep on inserting between two notes. Just pay attention to whatever changing. Here, same thing. Here, all the way, all the way, all the way. Once in a while, you are changing your bass note E to B. Now, all the way B, B, then go back to C. Okay, so it makes it simpler that way. Let's try. G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, to the beginning. Let's do both ends together slowly. the beginning because there is a da capo alfne a little bit faster
Did you like the music? It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, we will close it up to this lesson, and uh, we'll see next week what's coming. It should be very fascinating music. Looking forward to it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.